In this video I want to show how to create a weldment drawing, so a drawing of standard profiles, in this case a square profile. So I've already drawn this part and I've opened another part from GrabCAD, which is a good site to download various models from. So this you can see it's a, a car kit frame from Lotus. So in another video I show how to download files from GrabCAD and that's this film over here, the SolidWorks 2D drawing film. So if you want to see how you can download this Lotus frame easily from GrabCAD, just look at that movie. Uh, in this movie I want to show how to create drawings of uh, parts that are made from standard profiles. You can see here's a cut list and I've created a bit of a simpler file. Uh, look here, I'll just open it. This is the part I created and when you see if you want to see how I created this part, you can see that in this video, how to create a weldment part. So I've already created a movie of that, so now I'm going to just show in this film how to create a 2D drawing of it. So I'll just choose File, Make Drawing from Part. Yeah, there is already a drawing from this part. Do I want to open this? No, I want to create a new one. Then I'll choose the most appropriate template. In this case, it will be A3. It's convenient for a printer, you don't need to use the plotter. So then I'll uh, just place a couple of views. This one is first, the front view, and then the top view, right view, and an ISO view, like that, and usually this view will use shade with edges, like that. So if I move the first view, then the other two coupled views will move along. If you want to break that, here's the alignment. Uh, option here and you can break the alignment if you want but in this case I don't want that I've I've created this part already and I I'm not gonna use dimensions in this case usually it would be nice for a drawing to create some basic dimensions so like the most outer dimensions of this part uh, I hit the wrong line there but it's just about the idea that you choose these dimensions on the drawing so people We'll know immediately how much space it will need to place this table somewhere in a room so usually that's nice the, the for example the three most outer dimensions to place that ones in the model already but for us you don't usually place any dimensions of the profile but you want to use a, a weldment table you can place it on several ways i find the most easy to click with the right mouse button and then use tables and then weldment cut list and then you can save the template of your cut list. In this case, I'm just going to go with the default one. I'll place it a little here because I want to add some columns. I want to add here on the right, with the right mouse button, I can insert a row, column right. And for that, I want to place a cut list item property, and that's the angle one. So I can just easily enter the angles that these parts are cut off on. And I'll of course then also insert the angle on the other side of the part, so angle 2. So now I've uh, created my table, but then of course I want to know which part belongs to which length, so I get a description, they're all made of the same profile, uh, it's 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters times 4 millimeters, the 4 millimeters is the thickness, so it's a square tube of 4 millimeters thickness, and this is the longest tube and I've got two of those, so you, you see them here. But of course you want to know which of those tubes belong to which line. And that you do by inserting the balloon. So you choose the view and choose auto balloon. And then you can conveniently place these on top of the model, like that. And now you can see indeed that this first part is also the longest tube, so you know that. And you can see it's cut off on 45 degrees on both sides. So the second tube, I've got it here, it's of course a lot shorter. You can see it here, the length is also cut off both sides on 45 degrees. And again, if you want to see how I've drawn it, then you can look at the other film that I've placed on YouTube. Then we've got these four legs of the part, which is number three. Indeed, there are four of these legs, and they don't have any cutoff angles. You can see they're, they're cut off straight. And the last one is a very short one. You can see here that the, this is the maximum length of this part here. And if you select the line, 
for example this line you can see it's 191 and if I look here in the drawing in the table here you see 191 as well so you can you can also select a line and you'll see the length over here and you see it corresponds to this length so it's a very nice way to to use profiles with these profiles you can in a cheap way build very nice and complex structures like for example the frame that I've downloaded from GrabCat this one it was also created with weldments there are a lot of files on GrabCat that are not created with weldments that should actually be for example their surfaces or something like that but the the Lotus model that I've downloaded here this one of a Lotus kit car that is actually set up correctly with a cut list you see here and it sort of detects all the components that are similar so that have the same length and the same cutoff angles so it's a nice tool to use in SOLIDWORKS to easily build some frames and that was it for this video thanks for watching